Hello, I'm Miss Kathy, and we are starting chapter one today. Can you imagine? And this is Janine Clark. And our lesson today is following Jesus. And Janine, can you read us that little quote that we're going to focus on? It says, this I command you, love one another. John 15, 17. Jesus calls all of us to respond to God's love. And he wants us to show love for one another. Look at that family there. They seem so happy. They look like a very loving family. We can show love for one another too. Just like Jesus tells us in the Bible, story after story of the love that Jesus shows for others. How he gave sight to the blind, how he fed the hungry. There's so many things that we can do to show love for one another. I want you to think, how has others shown love for you? Now, we're gonna meet Miss Emma. Miss Emma, she's a second grader just like you all, okay? And she's going through First Reconciliation also. Well, she's coming to class today to share a lesson that she had. Last week, she told us that a new boy named Evan came to her class. The teacher asked Evan to stand up and introduce himself. He was so shy. And he said that he had just moved to the state. He loved to draw and he loved to play soccer. That day, when they were eating lunch, Emma saw that he was sitting by himself. And when she went out to the playground, he was kind of standing off to the side, just watching the other kids play soccer. That afternoon in class, he kind of looked very, very sad. And then she's sharing with us that the next day, the same thing happened. He was sitting by himself at lunch, and then she saw him on the playground while she was playing with her friends. But guess what? she saw a boy named George come up and offer for Evan to come play with him and his friends. You know, Emma had to ponder. She wished she could have been as brave as George was. She wished that she could have reached out to Evan and shown him love for one another. I want you to recall a time when it might have been hard for you to be a follower of Jesus. We're going to look at this picture that one of the students, actually an eighth grader at the time, did it for us here in Gift. And this is called the Path of Love. Janine, can you read us what that says? This is the Path of Charity. That is, of the love of God and of neighbor. Catechism of the Catholic Church, 1889. Well, let's envision you, okay? Let's envision you walking up that path. See that little path? Okay, and as you're going up the path, there could be rocks, there could be little bees or little snakies. There could be, you could stumble and fall. You just never know what's gonna happen in that path and it's gonna go around and come up and it looks like there's all kinds of hills. But if you look, you can see the little red flowers and look how bright the sky is and that beautiful blue ocean. Imagine you're walking up that path Jesus is right ahead of you, and he says, come, follow me. Jesus is there with us each and every step that we take. We could stumble and fall. 
We could make a wrong choice in life, but Jesus is constantly there to show us how to get back on the path headed to God. We will be one of God's chosen children when we choose to follow the right path. Now's the time when Father, in the video, officer, offers us a little insight on what our class is going to be like. <laughs> 